Hey, what is going on, guys? Thanks for checking out this video, my sports gametria. In this video, I'm going to go over a football game for Sunday, September 26, 2021. I'm going to show you highlights of each side, and it's going to be up to you to determine who you think will win based on the numbers. I encourage you to add additional information on top of this if needed for you to feel confident in your own pick. And if for some reason you're curious to know who I'm picking in these games, you have to draw my Patreon. My picks are always in writing, underlined, and italicized. For more information on that, please read the description of this video. I wish you guys the best of luck in your picks today. Let's go ahead and get to the game. We're going to be looking at the Buccaneers versus the Rams in California. Uh, it's basically an even split game. Both teams undefeated, 2-0. and One of these teams is going to go 3-0. and So on this side of the screen is what I call my daily numbers, date numerology, Gregorian Hebrew calendar. And then on this side of the screen is what I call my game numbers. The way that it's structured here, I have the distance to the Super Bowl up here. Just a reminder that it's week three. Right here is the location of the game. So city, state, uh, stadium name, coordinates. Right here is the regular season head-to-head -head record between the two teams. And then right here is the home team. So the home team, I have the season record, their coach's record, his birthday to and from. I have the quarterback, his season, or his, yeah, his regular season record, his birthday to and from, and then the name Gamachio for the team. And then at the bottom here is the away team, their season record, their coach's record to and from his birthday, quarterback record to and from his birthday, and the name Gamachio. All right, so we're going to look at this game really quickly and um, see if there's any numbers here that point to either direction. I'm going to first show you the numbers for the Rams. And then I'm going to show you the numbers for the Buccaneers. So let's get started with the Rams. Uh, if Rams are going to win this game, uh, the first thing that I would point to is that this game is being played in SoFi Stadium. SoFi Stadium sums to 71. And mathematically speaking, 71 is the 20th prime number. The day of this game will be played on the 20th day of the Hebrew Civil New Year. And the Rams have an opportunity to become 2-0 and like 20 uh, at home for the season with a win. If this were to happen, the coach for uh, Buccaneers, Bruce Aarons, uh, he would sit on 20 regular season wins as a coach for Buccaneers with a loss. It will be seven days till his upcoming 69th birthday. Uh, he's currently sitting on 69 regular season wins overall but emphasis on the seven because the the word seven written now also sums to 20. Uh, and since we're already down here seven days till his 69th birthday he can sit on 69. He could pick up his 45th regular season loss. This will be the not only is it the 20th day of the Hebrew New Year, but it's the 197th day of the Hebrew religious side of the calendar. 197, mathematically, is the 45th prime number. He could get his 45th loss regular season as he sits on 69, seven days till his 69th birthday, as uh, the Bucks, as he sits on 20 wins as a coach for the Bucks specifically. Um... SoFi Stadium sums to 136 as well. Tom Brady, he could become 13-6 for a record as a uh, Buccaneer regular season. And the words Tampa Bay Buccaneers sums to 316, which is basically just an anagram of 136. So if Tom Brady and the Buccaneers lose this game, it could be because they want Tom Brady to be 13-6 on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers 316. That would be the potential. Um, the Rams, they could get their 30th, um, or excuse me, they could become 3-0 and for this season. Like 30. You know what? I don't want to move on from the 136 just yet. Hold on. Sorry about this. Sorry for confusing you guys. 136. If we pop it into number properties, we find out 136 is a 16th triangular number, and the Rams could get their 16th regular season head-to-head -head win to go with SoFi Stadium 136. Tom Brady get become 13-6. Tampa Bay Buccaneers 3-1-6. Okay. And then Rams could become 30 
for a season record or 3 and 0 for a season record and 2 and 0 at home for the season. Uh, today with 40 date numerology on the Gregorian, 40 sums to 30. Uh, today with 56 date numerology on the Gregorian, 56 sums to 46. Rams coach, he can get his 46th regular season win. Um, and the word Rams sums to 51 and 30. 40 date numerology sums to 30 and 51. Rams could become 3-0 and for the season like 30. So those are the numbers... Uh, for the Rams to win this game. So let's look at the numbers for the Buccaneers to win this game. Let's start with it being the 197th day of the Hebrew religious. 197 is the 45th prime number. The Rams coach, he can sit on 45 regular season wins with a loss. Today does have 22 and 76 date numerology on the Gregorian. Rams coach would get his 22nd Lost regular season as he sits on 45 wins. And then Matthew Stafford would sit on 76 regular season wins with a loss. 76 and 22 date numerology on the Gregorian Civil. Speaking of the number 40 in favor for the Rams. And 40 summoned to 30 and 51. Rams 51 and 30. Could become 3-0. and Well, Buccaneers can also become 3-0 and for the season with a win, like 30. And if this were to happen, Tom Brady would get his 233rd win regular season uh, for his career. 233 uh, is the 51st prime number today with 40 date numerology on the Gregorian 30. And or 40 sums to 30 and 51. The Rams sums to 51 and 30. It could be the Buccaneers that become 3 and 0, like 30. As Brady gets his 233rd regular season win, the 51st prime number. Today has 56 date numerology on the Gregorian. 56 sums to 118, 46, 98, 44. Tom Brady sums to 98, 35, 118, 46. So Tom Brady and the number 56 are identical in three of the four base ciphers and uh, what's hard about Bruce Aarons making an argument for him get to get his uh, well he can sit on 44 let me mark that he can sit on 44 uh, I want it mark he can sit on 44 regular season losses 56 date numerology 56 sums to 44 but it's hard to make an argument for his 70 at the win just because any argument that you make for Bruce Aarons getting his 70th regular season win, you can also make for Tom Brady to get his 70th uh, regular season loss. And this actually just brought up a, something in my mind that I forgot to mention that could favor the Rams. Matthew Stafford, this is the 232nd day of his current 33-year-old age. Tom Brady could sit on 232 regular season wins with a loss. I forgot to mention that. Uh, but other than that, I think that's the numbers for the game. Uh, Buccaneers can get their 10th regular season head-to-head -head win against the Rams as Buccaneers become 1-0, like 10 on the road for the season. Um, Matthew Stafford, he can get his 91st regular season loss for his career playing against the Buccaneers, which sums to 91. And uh, I think that's all I have for right now. Hopefully this helps. Hopefully this gives you an idea for this game. It's a pretty split even game on the money line. Uh, so this might be a good one to uh, maybe uh, take a risk on or something for fun. But uh, yeah, so those are the numbers for Rams. Those are the numbers for Bucks. I wish you guys the best of luck. Thank you for watching. I appreciate the support.